Today I'm going to show you a new cooking tool that we got for the truck. It's the Instant Pot 7-in-1 Multi-Use Cooker. Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you a new kitchen cooking gadget that we recently purchased for the truck. I had been looking at pressure cookers for probably the last, oh gosh, I don't know, four or five months. It was been before Christmas and I was really leaning towards getting a pressure cooker for the truck. And then with from recommendations of other truckers and seeing some videos online, I came across this. It's called the Instant Pot. And it's a seven-in-one multi-use prog programmable pressure cooker. When I saw this and everything it could do, I was like, that's the what we have to have. Because not only is this a pressure cooker, but it does multiple things. It sautés, it slow cooks, it's a rice cooker, a steamer, food warmer, pressure cooker, and yogurt maker. So it does multiple things versus just one thing with a pressure cooker. Now a lot of pressure cooker cookers do multiple things, but this came highly recommended and there's just a lot of recipes and things online, on YouTube, they have a Facebook page. so. I really wanted to give this a try. I haven't even used it yet. I was gonna just unbox it for y'all to show you what comes in the, the box. So we're gonna open this up, see what comes in it. I have a slow cooker or a, a crock pot and the thing I don't like about the crock pot is you, I mean, you can do multiple things in the crock pot, but it's very slow. With this, you can cook things faster and it doesn't take up a lot of room in the truck. I mean, you don't need a big, custom sleeper like ours to use one of these as long as you have a power source you can use this in the truck to make you don't need a special inverter to yeah you don't need either. a special inverter like our new wave or our induction cooktop you have to have a Pearson I think is how you say sign. Pearson Pearson um, inverter for it to work and this you don't need that you so, and you can use this as for cooking meats, uh, hamburger and steaks and yeah, and multiple you, things. You can use so, it as a grill. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see. The first thing I see when I open it, it looks like we're going to have. It's going to be a user manual. There's a quick reference guide, and I believe there is a cookbook in here as well. So let's just see. So we got the user manual. Yep, there it is. Electric pressure cooker recipes and then your quick reference card and warranty information. Of course, it comes with your power cord and it's a removable power cord, which I like. So you don't have to like worry about wrapping your cord wrapping up. Wrapping it to, up yeah, and just yeah. stash it away. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, so we've got, basically that's it. And then you get to the pressure cooker. So let's take this out and see what we got. So the packaging is really nice. I Where I found this, I purchased it at a Target. Target was the only place I found on the road that had them actually in stock. And the one that I got, it's called the IP Duo 60, and it's a six quart pressure cooker. They do make a five quart and an eight quart, and they also have a Lux model and a Smart model. The only difference between this and the smart model is a smart model, you can start it and program it with your phone, but I don't really need that. I don't see the point in paying an extra price for that when I do it manually myself. Um, the Lux model, I believe the Lux model, I actually I'm not really sure what the difference is on the Lux model because it wasn't really one I researched. I knew I wanted the Duo and I knew I wanted the six quart. So that's the one I got. At Target, it was $99.99 for this. When I originally went in online, it was that price. And when I went into the store to get it, they had it priced at $129.99. So basically I just showed them the Target online price and they matched that price. So I got it for basically a hundred bucks. It's a very good size. I love this size. It's perfect size for the countertop. And you can see it has a lot of different programmable things, soup, meat stew, a lot of presets, and you can also adjust it manually. So I really like that. Um, let's open it up here. I like the, the brush stainless look. Yeah, it's really nice. It's, it looks really sleek and, yeah. and nice. So let's open this up, 
So to open it, I know you just turn it and open. And of course there's more things inside. Another thing <laughs> that I liked about this model is it has these little slots and you can put the lid like this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so you don't have to set it down or worry about setting worry it down. About setting it down. You, you can set, set it right, it down right there. there. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So it does come with a few little tools. It comes with a measuring cup. Oh, excuse me, measuring cup. I'm sorry, I'm getting ready to use it for the we first time. We are going to use it for the first time. But. <laughs> now, I'm not going to film using it for the first time, but once I use it and get used to using it, I will film some recipes for y'all using it so you can see what we use it for. But it does come with a measuring cup. This is a condensation holder. What it does is there's a little hole here where condensation can drain out, and this little cup it just slides right on the back there just like that so it'll catch the condensation so you don't get that all over your countertops. Then it comes with a couple spoons, a little ladle, and like a little spatula deal here. It also comes with a wire trivet. What's that called? A wire trivet. Oh. This is just used, it goes right down in there and it kind of works to keep stuff up out of the water that you're cooking with because a lot of times you're cooking with you've steam. used water to steam and yeah. that's what cooks and builds the pressure so some of the things you cook you don't want to be <laughs> sitting in that water or liquid it also has a removable stainless steel insert or pot which i really like because that makes for easy cleaning and it does have oh measure measuring on the inside. yeah Look at that. Yeah. Do you use that when it, you're cooking with it? Do you leave that in there or what's yeah, all? Yeah, you leave it in there. Does that come out? Yeah. You, no, this doesn't come out. Oh, that doesn't. No. Okay. And so. If you look down, basically this is the heating element here. Once the pot sits down, it knows the pot's in there and that's the heating element. Oh, cool. I'm really anxious to use it and see what we can make. I, I know we're going to be making a lot of things in this. I am going to be getting rid of my crock pot now that I have this because there's no need to keep a separate crock pot because I can slow cook in this. I'm just going to plug it in just so we can see what the display looks like. There we go. So of course it's off. It's going to show off and it has a lot of different settings like I said. I have not played around with it yet. This is the first time I have opened it and I'm seeing it with you all. I think I'm really, really going to like this and... I think I'm really going to like the food that comes out of it. <laughs> Jason's going to like the food. I have a ninja. I don't know if any of y'all have heard there's a ninja that's basically kind of a six in one or seven in one. It's basically the same concept, but it does, it's not a pressure cooker. Um, but it's a lot bigger. I really like the size of this. The Ninja was great when we were in the Kenworth before the, the last two, this truck or the last truck we were in because we didn't have a convection oven. So I could use that as an oven, but it was so big and it took up a lot of space and it was just really more cooking space than I needed. This is gonna be perfect size for us, I think. It's, it's yeah, it's gonna be really good. Makes a fun little sound when you open and close the lid. <laughs> I'm gonna try this out a couple times and see how it works. And then as I get used to using it, I will film some videos and showing you some recipes and how to use it. Yeah, because I think it's gonna be really- What are you really... doing tonight? It's a whole chicken, right? I'm gonna do a whole chicken tonight, yeah. And I'm not gonna film it. Yeah, I, I will yeah. film though. I wanna try it out before I film, so. So yeah, guys, I'm really excited to try this and let y'all know how it works. If if y'all want to see some cooking videos using the Instant Pot, give this video a thumbs up so I know. And yeah. Check check out some other videos on YouTube too. There's yeah, a there's lot. a ton oh of videos on there on just yeah. Google, just type in the search Instant Pot yeah, and yeah. a lot and of people come use up. these at home, don't they? Oh yeah. You know, yeah. They're just using them at home. Um, Very excited to use it and see all of the good things that we can make on the truck. Thank you all as always for watching and subscribing and until our next video, peace, love and expediting.